This kind of take this this song takes me back to when I like first started to get into Minecraft. Such a nice time. It was a very weird time, actually, because I didn't really, it was on, it was on this kid's Xbox, it wasn't even mine. Uh, it was like a little bit after the Wii had come out, and I had just beaten Subspace Emissary in Brawl, in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Uh, my dad met this woman but they weren't but they they covered up their like fuck buddies as like dating so they, but they weren't really dating they were just fuck buddies so <laughs> uh she had a son named Mike which was really weird because my my dad's brother's name is Mike and his brother, Mike, had married a woman named Jen, and Jen was the woman, was the mother's name, which was kind of weird to think about, but it was okay. Um, so, they're, they're doing their thing, and... This was also, like, the starting of where I got into, like, Let's Players, like, Lark Markiplier, Smosh, Jacksepticeye, etc. Um... And this is- this was around the time- I remember, this is around the time Five Nights at Freddy's 2 came out. This was around that time. Where, like, FNAF 2, Slenderman, The Arrival... Like, those two things were, like, really prominent memories in my head. And, uh, Sumatory Dreams. Those were three games that stuck out. But I remember because... We had just- we went over his house. It was the first time we had- I have ever seen Ghostbusters. That's the first time I watched Ghostbusters, and then I learned there was a second one. So we watched both of those, I went into his room, he was a huge freak over Minecraft, and I was like, huh, this game looked kind of stupid, and he was like, I'll try it, and I'm like, okay. So, so I'm, I'm just sitting there, just messing around, he's like, oh, you gotta punch the trees to get things, and I'm like, okay. And then I'm like, I'm starting off, I'm like, you know, I'm kind of just chilling, and I'm like, Oh, this is pretty cool. And then I found my first diamonds. And I was like, oh shit, fuck yeah. And I got like, I got like three diamonds, I think. It was enough for a pickaxe. And I made a pickaxe. He was like, yeah. So now you could just go find, you could go mining around finding diamonds. I had no strategy to go find anything. I was kind of just vibing, playing the game. I didn't even know you could, I... My first priority wasn't even, like, getting armor or anything. It was just going around in caves. I died so many times. And since we were playing on multiplayer, he had cheats enabled. So he could just fly around and get my shit in, like, creative mode or whatever. That was fun. And then... It got to a point where... I had... We, the Wii U came out. I think it was on, I think, the first console I had Minecraft on, well, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't a console, but I've had it on the iPad when I was with, when I was over at my mom's house, and I used to play Pocket Edition non-stop. Um, and then after that, I, like, started to come of that age where, like, I had, I had some money. So I bought one of those cards that you could just buy at, like, the dollar store or something. And I used it to buy... I used it to buy Earthbound. Like, an emulator version of Earthbound on the Wii U. And Minecraft. 
and I played Minecraft non-stop. And then I got into Terraria, put Minecraft down for a bit, just grinded the hell out of Terraria, and then I got right back into Minecraft as soon as I got my PlayStation 4, and then I started streaming it. And that was when I was with you guys, and that's when I initially started streaming. So yeah, I've come a long way from sitting in this one kid's house just chilling and playing Minecraft. Because that was one of my favorite, that was my first introduction to it, and that was probably the best introduction I had to a video game. Because I had went in completely blind. When I was still in 81, I was in like 6th or 7th grade, my friend Freddy, Freddy Toronto, I still remember his face, uh, he suggested it to me, and he was like, oh yeah, there's these things called creepers and whatever, and they blow up, and I'm like, that sound, kind of sounds stupid. You know, my favorite block game, I said it sounded stupid. Yet, this stupid block game, I'm playing a hardcore world that's been going on for almost eight days, total. I went from not giving a fuck about this game at all, to working on a project to literally watching this game grow. Like, it's crazy. Something that I cared so little about is what I care the most about right now. Not, not really like the most about, but like, a game that I just did not give a fuck about, I'm just fucking loving. It's crazy, really. It's fun. I know, this, this fucking intro is such a good- oh. I love this game. Intro really is a sad fucking song, Jesus. My entire audience, by which you mean Amanda, Nate, and you. Clip him. There's a clip? What was the clip? There's a clip. Or were you saying to clip that moment? I could highlight it. Just remind me. Remind me to go back and clip it when I end stream. Actually, Jeff, text me that right now. Say go and go 50 minutes into the stream and clip from 50 to an hour. I'll probably post that on YouTube, in all honesty. Uh, 
was such a wholesome thing. Like... That song really just brought back a huge fuck- And this song, too! Bro, when I were f when I first went- Oh my god. When I first went into the nether, it wasn't even like an actual world. It was a super flat world. And... When I first went into the nether at this, I heard this song, and it was such a good song. I loved this song. Um, but when I first went into the nether, it was a it was a super flat world, and I was like super into like I was in the I was into Mario, like I kind of still am. I've kind of grown out of Mario a little bit, but um. Mario Brothers Wii New Super Mario Brothers Wii U had just come out. So I tried building my rendition of Bowser's Castle in the Nether. There wasn't any black stone or anything. So I was just using like stone bricks and whatever. Filled it with lava. Made like corridors. There was a huge throne in the middle. And since I had the Wii U version, it came with Super Mario skins. So, like, I tried to make it like a parkour esque thing. Where, like, I would do like little tiny parkour things. I would have, like, enemies there. Like, the skeletons were Hammer Brothers, the zombies were Goombas or Koopa Troopas or whatever. I forget what Creepers were. I mean, yeah. It was pretty cool. I remember being so proud of that Bowser's castle. <laughs> it wasn't even it wasn't even that good. <laughs> like it was mediocre at best. Then I remember my first time trying to actually play survival. Because all I did, really, was just play creative. Because I just wanted to build cool shit. But my first time actually building survival, that was fun. I didn't know how to enchant anything, so I just took, like, basic bitch enchantments, like, level 1 enchantments and things. I didn't know you had to put, like, bookshelves around it to make it more powerful. Yeah. I didn't even know the end was a thing. And then eventually I found out you could get an elytra. I didn't know fireworks were a thing, so I like, just thought you glide. You were gliding. I thought the only way to get mending books was through fishing. So I made an AFK fish farm. I didn't know how to trade with villagers. I just thought they were useless NPCs. I didn't even know you could trade with them. When the Village and Pillage update came out, that's the first time I figured out you could trade with villagers. I thought you couldn't up until then. And then Phil died in Season 2. And then I figured out, oh shit, you can- I watched back his entire Season 2. 
And I was like, oh shit, you could just fucking trade with these dudes? Like, their colors have different meanings and shit? I was always wondering why there were, like, yellow, or there were, like, green ones, white ones, regular ones. Because I always thought, I think, I tr the first one I tried trading with was a di uh, Nimwit. The green coats. And I never was able to, like, trade with them. So it's like, oh, these guys are useless and never interact with them again. I remember being scared of zombies, too. Oh. With my little fucking cube house. My little wooden cube house and my cobblestone floors. When chests used to make a door sound. You couldn't place chests next to each other. You had to use chests and then trap chests to place them next to each other. And then eventually when I found out there was an end, I don't even think end cities were a thing. Right? No, they were, they were, they were. Because I remember there was only, you can only kill the dragon four times. Because I remember starting to get into like watching Minecraft YouTubers and they would defeat the dragon. No wait, it was the, uh, the achievement to respawn the dragon. And I wanted to get all the- because I was an achievement hunter, so I wanted to get all the achievements. So... I went to go respawn the dragon, but I didn't know how. I thought it had something to do with the egg. Uh... No. So... I didn't even know you could get the egg. So... I think I lost the egg. The first time killing the dragon. Because I tried to mine it, and then it disappeared. And then I think the dragon broke it. Because I res when I respawned it, I think it broke it. Um, so I lost the most valuable item my first time respawning the dragon. And I didn't even know it. <laughs> um, I had to look up how to respawn the dragon. And Ghast scared the shit out of me. I did not want to ever go in the nether. Like, the nether was terrifying. This is the creative song for the nether. Oh my god. I remember, because this is the song I would listen to, like, non-fucking-stop when building the ca Bowser's Castle. I eventually got so annoyed with creative songs that I just turned the music off and just played my own. I'm pretty sure I can load up my Wii U and go back and just look at my old Minecraft worlds. We should do that when I get the Elgato. Oh, we should definitely fucking do that. <laughs> 